He's going to have to wait. Five minutes. Joe, you think we care about our players? No. We never no. cared about our players. It's, 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 it's not going to hurt to wait It has nothing to do with the student athlete. I don't know if you've realized this. Is it going to work? Hurt him to wait five minutes, Stephanie? No, it's, it's, it's fine. Double in. Oh, babe. Oh, babe. Good. 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 Watch out for that ball when you're standing behind, okay? Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Brooksy, this cold tub is not really that cold. I'm not even... Phased by it. I'm freezing. My legs are about, toes are about to fall off. I know. And when we turn this, the jets on, I'll probably get worse, but you can't really hear anything. Yes. And again, this is this is Hot Tub 2 Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Man, I like that. That's a good name. That's new. Yeah. Now, well, yeah, we got to go through and name all our million episodes. That'd probably be the best name of an episode. I think they do. I think it was a Hot Tub Time Machine. Ram, Ram Tub Time Machine. <laughs> Or something. Yeah, maybe Mantooth will show himself here. Mantooth, you got a text from Mantooth this morning. Thanks for the text, Mantooth. Thanks, Zip Mantooth. it. Wow. What's up? That, that's not how we do it around here. It's not how we do it. Okay. Moving on to the next. So, why are we sitting in this hot tub? Well, we didn't. Well, it's not the, hot, I guess. There's no tub. state fair. In hey, town. Do you know in the Minnesota State Fair they have walleye on a stick? Walleye bass? Dude, I will slap you in a hot tub. So, <coughs> anyway, so yeah, we're just uh, post practice soak. You're getting a yeah. good soak in, it's what we like to do. Relax for the game, day people, before a big game. People tend to hit us in the legs and back with, you know, with the objects. objects. Yes. I felt like Chuck Knobloch when our players were throwing batteries at us the other day. <laughs> Chuck Knobloch. I played against Chuck Knobloch. He's really good. Really good. Jerk. Jerk? Yeah. He's, no, he played for the Twins. He's right. You know what? He tried to fight me at the Dixie Chicken, too. Chuck Knobloch did. Yeah. Didn't he blow World Before, uh, you know, when I was a freshman. Yeah. And he was talking about one of my teammates, and I didn't know they were buddies. Luckily, we became friends. Or not friends, but he didn't be acquaintances. Didn't, yeah, acquaintances. Non-combative acquaintances. And I, acquaintances. And I told him uh, he couldn't hold Mike Briley's job because Mike Briley was better than him, and that was offended him <laughs> in some way. I wouldn't want to hold another Mike man's Briley's job. Mike now a cop though, so he could arrest he could Chuck Knobloch. Pop a cap. Now. Yeah, pop a cap in him if he yeah. wanted to. Did he World Series win for the Yankees, Chuck Knobloch? Took the ring right off my finger. Knobloch was only good when he was a twin. He was good. He was Chuck really good. Knobloch was great. That, that weekend, I remember he had four hits where he threw the bat at the ball. Good hand great, eye. Great player. I have nothing but respect but for Do him. you remember when Tom Kelly had to walk out because the Twins fans were throwing batteries at him when he was with the Yankees? I do not They stopped that. the game. It was the, awesome. The Twins fans? Not the Yankee fans. Not the Twins fans are throwing batteries at Knobloch when he's playing left field. Like wow. Sports fan right Twins fans don't generally do that. He must have been a jerk. Okay. And they, he must have tried to fight somebody at Dixie Chicken and they came strong with all their friends. They have Dixie Chicken in you know, you know Indianapolis, St. Paul? I don't know. But you know who was in the stands, I'm guessing? Al Newman. He's on the field. He, no, he was on the field. But... I'm guessing that Todd Holland was in the stand if there was some shenanigans going on. Todd Holland probably was there. Yeah. He's I, a shenaniganer. Yeah, he he instigates shenanigans most of the time. Yes, he does. He's, so, a, he's definitely a shenaniganer. Did you just see that calf raise Elion did? I'm, I'm no. I don't know what he was doing. That's bad for the camera. He's already nine feet tall. <laughs> trying try to dunk with his head, apparently. Yes. What is this garbage? The ice machine. Making is that why it's so dang? That's why it's so cold I am in about there. to freeze up yes, in this I know. son of a gun. Again, I'm about to lose a toe. <laughs> you want a toe? I'll get you a toe by three o'clock. Supposed to be intimidated? Thank you. All right. Big Lebowski. Good pickup. Brooksy, what do we got going on in here in the training room? Uh, looks like they're doing some knitting of some type. Are they knitting on this woman's leg? Oh, I didn't see her. Uh, she's doing towel raises. Ouch, she must, must have ripped that ankle up. Yeah, strengthen, condition, re rehabilitate. 
Rehabilitate? Yeah. All right, Brooksy. We got our first game of the regional tomorrow at noon. What do you say to all those people that uh, that are trying to work instead of coming to the ball game? Well, that's the thing. It's, a lot, it's lunch hour, so you come for your lunch, and then you get tied up a little bit, and you're just back late. Come for your lunch, stay for the fun. That's right. Yeah. It's the businessman special. Bingo. Your business woman. Special. What about business kids from school yeah. get out? Well, school, they've already taken their star test. There's no reason to go. You're done. I like that action. You heard, you heard it, kids. Kevin Brooks just excused you from school. Yeah. I'd like to see about 2,500 of y'all out here tomorrow. Yeah, we should. Uh, you know what? We should call some elementary schools. Tell them, come on. Take yeah. a field trip over the field. Just have a couple yellow dogs, scoop them up. Yeah. Get loud, get crazy. Just walk on over from Gwen Junior High. Yeah, Not make sure you bring batteries to throw Crockett at the opposing elementary. coach. Yeah. <laughs> bring batteries to throw at uh, the opposing coach, Todd Holland, because that would, I mean, it's payback is a son of a gun. Payback. Yeah, I, I think that's okay. Nobody's I think there's an asterisk in there. Don't throw stuff except at Todd Holland. And don't go over double uh, A batteries. Just you can't use the nine volts or anything. Just go like normal. No, no car batteries at him. We're gonna injure him. Just injure him a little bit. Bumps and bruises are fine. We don't wanna kill him. <laughs> so, Brooksy, I'm gonna give you four words. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Jets. Okay. Penetrate. Okay. <laughs> Icicle. Okay. Junk. Uh, <laughs> that could be bad. Junk's toes were cold as an icicle from the jets in the whirlpool penetrating his skin. Penetrates. I messed up. That's C. A, I don't know. Uh, That's not more C. I'm giving you a C because, I mean, the, the water is chilling your brain out. I, 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 I'm going to give you a little bit of a, a pass there. It's a passing grade. It's that time of year. Kids, you heard of C's passing. Get on out to the ball game. Tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow at noon.